everyone, this is Zay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve d power 4 minus 2d cube minus 13d square plus 38d minus 24 into y equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. d power 4 minus 2d cube minus 13d square plus 38d minus 24 into y equals to 0 which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to 0 where f of d equals to d power 4 minus 2 d cube minus 13 d square plus 38 d minus 24. So we are going to find the general solution to the given equation using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, right, where f of m equals to, replace operation, sorry, differential operator d by m, then you will get f of m equals to m power 4 minus 2m cube minus 13m square plus 38m minus 24, then our auxiliary equation will be m power 4 minus 2m cube minus 13m square plus 38m minus 24 equals to 0, right? So now we are going to find the rules to the auxiliary equation. So here we are going to use synthetic division method. Okay. To find factors to the polynomial. Okay. So write the question. One. This is cube, right? Minus 2, minus 13, 38, minus 24. So firstly, we'll see when this polynomial becomes 0, by applying m equals to 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2. Okay. So let's check for m equals to 1. When m equals to 1, you'll get 1, minus 2, minus 13, plus 38, minus 24. Right. 1 plus 38 is 39. Minus 2 minus 13 is minus 15. Minus 15 Minus 24 is minus 39. Right? So 39 minus 39 is 0. Which is nothing but this equation satisfies when m equals to 0. Right? Sorry. When m equals to 1. That is m minus 1 equals to 0. From this we will get m minus 1 equals to 0. So m minus 1 will be 1 factor. So let's see what happens if m equals to 1 in the synthetic division. Just add these two you will get 1. 1 into 1, 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 13 minus 1 is minus 14. 1 into minus 14 
is minus 14 plus 38 minus 14 is 24 1 into 24 is 24 minus 24 plus 24 is 0 right this equation got satisfied when m equals to 1 so our first factor is M minus 1. Fine. Now you're having just check the places, okay? 24 and this is M. Here you'll get M, M square, M cube. So the next polynomial will be M cube minus M square minus 14M plus. 24. Now, so firstly we got for m equals to 1, right? Now let's check for m equals to minus 1 or 2 or minus 2. Let's see what happens if m equals to 2. Better. Let's go for m equals to minus 1. Then you'll get minus 1 cube minus or minus 1 square minus 14 into minus 1 plus 24. Then you'll get minus 1. Minus 1 square is 1. Minus and minus plus 14. Plus 24. Which is equals to minus 2 plus 4 plus 4, 8, 38, right? So here we don't get 0, which is not equals to 0, right? So we can't take m equals to minus 1. Since the auxiliary equation is not satisfied, sorry, not this equation, this equation, right? This polynomial, I can say. Now, let's go for 2. 2 cube minus 2 square minus 14 into 2 plus 24. From this, you'll get 2. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. Minus 2 twos are 4. Minus 14 twos. 28 plus 24 is equal to 8 plus 24 is 32 minus 4 minus 28 is minus 32 which is equal to 0. So this polynomial gets satisfied when m equals to Right? So now put 2, m equals to 2, then you'll get 2 ones are 2, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, 2 ones are 2, minus 14 plus 2 is minus 12, 2 into minus 12 is minus 24, plus 24 minus 24 is 0. Okay? So our next factor will be m minus 2, right? Now, you have constant m, m square. m square minus, sorry, plus m minus 12. Either you can factorize this Either you can factorize this or you can use some m using synthetic division. We can find the next two factors. Okay. So let's go for factorization method instead of continuing in synthetic division. So here you can write m as plus 4m minus 3m 
then you'll get take m common from the first two terms you'll get m times m plus 4 now take minus 3 common from the next two terms you'll get minus 3 times m plus 4 since m plus 4 exists in two terms in both the terms otherwise and now take m plus 4 common from the two terms you'll get m plus 4 times m minus 3 so these are the next two factors right So if you want, you can check equate m plus 4 equals to 0 and minus 3 equals to 0. From this, you'll get m equals to minus 4 and here you'll get m equals to 3. Okay. Consider the polynomial. This polynomial. And let's see if we are getting... 0 or not while substituting m equals to 3 and m equals to minus 4. Let's try for m equals to 3 firstly. 3 square plus 3 minus 12 equals to 3 square is 9 plus 3 minus 12. 9 plus 3 is 12 minus 12 is 0. So m equals to 3 is satisfied. Therefore m minus 3 is a factor. Now coming to m equals to minus 4. Minus 4 whole square. Minus 4 minus 12. Minus, minus 4 whole square is 16. Minus 4 minus 12 is minus 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. So m equals to minus 4 is a root and m plus 4 is a factor. So from this we'll get m equals to 1, 2, 3 and minus 4. So here the roots are distinct. We don't have any repeated roots, right? Are real and distinct. We know that When roots are real and distinct, our solution will be y equals to c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x plus so on plus cn e power mnx, right? So here we are having four roots, then our solution will be y equals to c1 e power consider 1 as m1 2 as m2 3 as m3 and this as m4 okay you can take any of these four as m1 m2 m3 and m4 it's up to you you can choose anything as your m1 m2 m3 and m4 right so our solution will be y equals to c1 e power m1 that is 1 into x plus c2 e power m2 2 into x plus c3 e power m3 3 into x plus c4 e power minus 4x right then y equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus c3 e power 3x plus c4 e power minus 4x. So, this is a solution. So, we used synthetic division by choosing m. Right? We have checked whether the auxiliary equation satisfied the values or not. We have checked whether the polynomial, uh, polynomial satisfied or not. Okay? Instead of 
checking polynomial or auxiliary equation for m equals to 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, you can just directly check in the synthetic division. But there you get some quite confusion. Okay. So instead of using synthetic division directly, firstly we'll check for m equals to 1, minus 1, 2, and minus 2 to the corresponding equation or polynomial. Okay. Before going to synthetic division, we'll check for m equals to 1, minus 1, 2, minus 3, 3, minus 3 to the corresponding equation or a polynomial. So this completes a problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.